traveling or whatever that you you enjoy doing because of this or that. Use your wisdom, use your intelligence and operate from that place. And also for the spiritually advanced, the one that is doing the work, the recognition that nothing is separated from who you are. A virus is not separated from who we are. It's an aspect of who we are. If I'm to get sick and go through an illness, there is something for me to experience and to learn to that. Of course, it's not something I'm welcoming and want to happen, but things do happen. And there's always something to learn from it. So I don't see this virus separated from me. I don't see it of something came from another dimension. It's an aspect, an expression of my own self. Like everything else is an, ex an aspect and impression of myself, the good and the bad. But thank God we have each other. Thank God we have access to this information. Thank God that at any time, any moment, we divert our attention inwards and we sink inside ourselves. We come back to the true who we are. We come back to our power. You experience and you see for yourself who you are, that you're light. You see your own power. You see the power that is here, available to you. And then the fear and worry and anxiety disappear. Every time there's a major shift coming, a major transformation is happening, which we're in the midst of it, of we're expanding and a part of the humanity consciousness is rising its vibrations and you're, you're doing the work on yourself. And we're, as the more you do the work, the more you're not paying attention to the noise. And again, we've talked about this so many times, but whether it's inner noise or other noise, the other noise is the media, what is going on there, and the fears of other people, whatever is their fear, that they want to project it on you, they want to transfer it on you. But you come to the world of meditation, you have come to, you somehow you have brought into this path. You have become a sadhu, you're a sannyasin, you're a Sufi, you're a shaman. And in your destiny, in your life, you have chosen the path of liberation. Liberation is your goal. You want to awaken. You want to reach the ultimate understanding. You want to become one with God. You want to live in light. You want to reach ultimate inner peace and happiness. That's what we want. And that means to go through different layers of fear and worry and anxiety. 
And some of these things, they're right in your face. They're real. Maybe you meet people who are dying from a disease and it's happening around you. But how are you going to elevate and reach a higher level of consciousness if you're not challenged? How are you going to graduate from this third dimensional world and reach your consciousness to the 5D, enter into the unified field of oneness. If you're going to stay involved in the world of fear and worry and anxiety, fear means that there is separation. So at one point on this path we have of what we're doing is we have to go through this thing. You have to walk through this fog, this stuff that starts to appear in front of you and it's really scary and it's really weird. Whatever that is, you're going through a divorce, you're going through a financial crisis, you are going through, you're living in a country that there's a revolution is happening, there's a war going on, you know, really stuff that they really shake, shake you or shakes your foundation and it's right in your face. And and that's, those are, these are the moments that it prove, prove to you that if you can transcend and go beyond this through tabbing into what you've learned from your teachers, what you've learned from your guides, or tabbing into the center of yourself and really staying still in the midst of the chaos, in the midst of the fear, in the midst of the fires and earthquakes and hurricanes, you are sannyasin. You are tapping into the wisdom, your ancient wisdom, and all your training of meditation and all the workshops you've taken, all the work that you've done, all these years of doing inner work, it's, being, it's here to be applied practically in the moments of chaos and time to show what you got and walk into the fear and anxieties of yourself to see that there is nothing there. It's illusion. It can't touch who you are. Maybe it's going to touch the physical body, but it can't touch who you are. It will aggravate the mind. There is a lot of noise out there. You got to go back inside to this place and be center and quiet and disregard the noise. There's always going to be noise, always. Fears, worries. You think you're going to have a world which is harmonious and Everything is going to be fine and going according to the way you like it. Are you wrong? Because it's never going to be that. It's never been that and it would never be that. That which we're looking for is inside ourselves. We have to find it within ourselves. And then the other world will adjust itself to the state of your being. 